thyroid gland is endodermal in origin. Pituitary oh next pineal gland on the other sorry in the uh, thyroid gland is endodermal in origin and pituitary gland is ectodermal in origin and thyroid gland is the largest it is the largest endocrine gland and thyroid gland is located on either side of the trachea and inferior to the larynx This is the trachea and the first part of the trachea is called larynx voice box and this gland is located on either side of the trachea on either side of trachea inferior to the larynx. inferior to the larynx on either side of the trachea and also it is located on the ventral side which lies very nearer to the skin located in the neck region and the shape of uh, thyroid gland is uh, butterfly shaped with its wings spread butterfly shaped or H shaped or H shaped and this thyroid gland is homologous to it is homologous to endo style of endo style of uh, cardates and a proto cardates what are the proto cardates proto cardates includes a euro and a cephalo cardates together called proto cardates these proto cardates have endo style the ciliated groove is called endo style which is located on the ventral side of pharynx this endostyle and thyroid gland are the homologous organs. So, thyroid gland is the homologous to the endostyle of protocardates. Endostyle of protocardates is the forerunner of, it is the forerunner of thyroid gland. Next, thyroid gland uh, is divided into two lobes and these two lobes are connected by a thin flap of uh, connective tissue is called isthmus. This is called isthmus. Isthmus is the non-glandular portion. So, what is a part of the thyroid gland which is non-glandular portion that is Isthmus. Isthmus is just a connection. It is a thin flap of connective tissue uh, which is a non glandular part, it is called as isthmus. Next, uh, structure. Thyroid gland, uh, if you observe that the TS of thyroid gland, the thyroid gland is composed of thyroid follicles it is composed of thyroid follicles and stromal tissue stromal tissue is nothing but connective tissue and this follicle uh, is internally lined by simple cuboidal epithelium This is the thyroid follicle. I 
and these are follicular cells that means a simple cuboidal epithelial cells simple cuboidal epithelial cells thyroid follicle enclosing cavity enclosing cavity this cavity stores thyroid hormones the only gland that stores the hormones before releasing it is the thyroid gland okay so thyroid gland is the only gland that stores hormones in their cavities this is very very important thyroid gland also contains high amounts of iodine of the total body okay so largest amounts of iodine is available in thyroid gland because iodine is essential for synthesis of thyroid hormones so thyroid gland is the only gland that stores hormones in its cavity and thyroid gland contains uh, high amounts of iodine in the body right thyroid gland uh, composed of thyroid follicles and stromal tissue each thyroid follicle is lined by simple cuboidal epithelial cells called follicular cells enclosing cavity which stores uh, thyroid hormones the follicular cells secrete the follicular cells secrete two hormones they are t4 and t3 tetra iodo thyronin hormone and tri iodo thyronin hormone t4 t4 also known as thyroxin thyroxin hormone t4 or thyroxin and t4 contains four iodine molecules and t3 contains three iodine molecules okay uh, next uh, among the follicular sorry thyroid follicles stromal tissue is present this is the stromal tissue or connective tissue with uh, a specialized cells called uh, para follicular cells para follicular cells or uh, these are also called c cells para follicular cells or c cells C cells secrete calcitonin or TCT. TCT calcitonin or TCT thyrocalcitonin. This is the non iodinized hormone. Iodine is not required for the secretion of calcitonin or TCT. iodine is essential for the secretion of t4 and t3 these are the thyroid hormones tetra iodothyronin tri iodothyronin t4 is also known as thyroxin okay t4 is it constitutes about 90 percentage of the thyroid hormones it constitutes about only 10 percent but which is potent t3 is more potent than the t4 T3 is more active or T3 is more potent uh, than the T4 but T4 amount is more when compared to T3 after entering into the cells body cells after entering into the body cells the T4 loses one iodine molecule and becomes into T3 T3 is more potent but its amount is very less then the t4 enters into the cell after entering into the cell the t4 loses one iodine molecule and convert into t3 
then T3 acts upon cells, right. So, the follicular cells are the simple cuboidal epithelial cells secrete T4 and T3. T3 when compared to T4, T3 is more active, more active than the T4, right. Other right. para follicular cells or C cells secrete calcitonin, non-iodinized hormone, not required iodine, right. So, iodine is essential for the secretion of uh, thyroid hormones. What are the foods uh, that rich in iodine? Sea foods. Sea foods are uh, rich in uh, iodine and onions. Onions are rich in iodine. So, sea foods and onions are rich in uh, iodine and then a table salt. Table salt is iodized. So, the sources for iodine, sea foods and onion and table salt ok. Next coming to the actions of uh, thyroid hormones is very very important actions of the thyroid hormones. Increases uh, BMR basal basal metabolic rate the rate of consumption of O2 for the production of ATP if BMR increases increased BMR increases the production of ATP increases the production of ATP. As the ATP increases, heat released, as the heat released, body temperature increases, body temperature increases, as the BMR increases, the production of ATP increases, as the utilization of ATP increases, heat releases, as the heat releases, body temperature rises. So, thyroid hormones regulate the body temperature, regulates body temperature in a homeotherms. <coughs> 